Hello fellow developers, hope you are having a great day, this is Andrew Token and this episode is gonna be about dynamic type in Swift UI. What is dynamic type after all? Dynamic type is a feature in iOS that allows users to customize the size of text displayed on their device, making it more accessible and comfortable to read. It's an important accessibility feature that helps users with the different visual needs and preferences. Dynamic type ensures that text in apps can adapt to users' chosen text size settings. To support dynamic type in your iOS app, you should use those predefined text styles rather than hard-coding font sizes. By using text styles, your app's text will adjust automatically. But what if you need a fonts of specific size other than text styles offer, but at the same time you want to have it dynamic? In this video, we will take a look at few different ways to use fonts in Swift UI, change font weight for system font and create a custom view modifier to make a custom sized dynamic font not only for San Francisco, but any other font family. Let's start from creating a title using system font styles like suggested. In order to achieve that, we will be using dot .font modifier. In order to test our font dynamic behavior, we could go to Canvas Device Settings and in the bottom you will see Dynamic Type Toggle and you should turn it on. In the bottom you will see Default Dynamic Type Category which defaults to Large and we can change it using Slider. We can change it to Extra Small or some very large sizes. As you can see our large title changes accordingly to a dynamic type category change. Next, let's create a bold title. Again, it's easy, we're just using dot bold modifier. But what if we would like to create a semi bold title? If you try to look for semi bold modifier, you won't find it because Swift UI doesn't have one. In order to achieve that, we will need to use extension for font to create a custom font with a semi bold weight. So here we have semi-bold title. In order to achieve that, we've created extension for font and created a static constant title semi-bold and used font system style title with a weight semi-bold. Now let's create a title of a specific size. All right. So here we have it, and as you can see, it seems like it works correctly. But let's go to device settings and try to change dynamic type category. And as you can see, our static title remains the same. It means it loses its dynamic behavior, and it doesn't follow the device settings for dynamic type. So. How could we change that? We could do multiple ways. In this video, I'll show you how to create a custom view modifier in order to achieve that. Alright, so here we have our modifier. The first argument is gonna be name of the type. If we remain it empty, it's gonna just take the default font family for iOS. In our case, it's gonna be San Francisco. Next, we're specifying the size of the font and also the weight. If it remains empty, it's gonna be regular. So now let's have a look how to use this modifier. As you can see, we've used scaled font modifier. In the first case, we're using for San Francisco for default font. We're just not specifying the name of the font. In the second, we're using it for Helvetica. And in Canvas, you can observe 
that those fonts have dynamic behavior, like we want to. And the last item I wanted to show you, how to restrict the scaling of dynamic fonts. For instance, for this text we want to scale it only to 3x large and no more. So how could we do that? We could use dynamic type size modifier. In this case, our text will shrink to extra small, but will enlarge to 3x large and no more. So this is it with dynamic types in Swift UI. If you find this video interesting, give it a like, consider subscribing to this channel if you didn't do it yet. And thank you for watching and I will see you next episode. Goodbye.